Today I am showing you some of the single most beautiful rentals that I have ever seen in Chicago. This building is super unique. It only has five units, so it is very small, very boutique. The building was originally built to be condos. They did end up making them into rentals, but they have condo quality finishes, and so these are truly some of the most beautiful units in the city. I've shown a bunch of different penthouses and stuff on this channel before, but these are very different to me because they were built to sell. This space was built for somebody to live in more long-term. This just feels like an extremely high-end luxury home and not an apartment rental. I'm very excited for you to see it. This is the kitchen. This kitchen island is so big. There are six stools going around this kitchen island. There is so much storage. These fridges are insane. Okay, I'm gonna try and do it, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this right. You can do this cool trick where you go and it opens. I don't know why you would ever need to do that, but it is absolutely fantastic and very glamorous. Right off of the kitchen, you do have a designated like dining area. You can do a different dining table or something in this spot, but nice that way you're not restricted to the bar stools. And then this is the other thing that I just think is so cool you have this massive wet bar. So if you're someone who likes hosting, you want to have different cocktails or things over here, you have a ton of storage. And I think the thing that I really like about this, it kind of started to be the trend where everything was all white everywhere. The main kitchen is still white and it is absolutely beautiful, but I love that they went dark with the wet bar. There is a full sink and a huge wine cooler, which would be so fun to be able to have just stocked up. You have friends, you're sitting at the dining table, you grab out another bottle of wine. But then the best part is in this unit, this is where I would host all the time. This patio in this unit is absolutely unreal. The door is open all the way, so it really gives an alfresco like inside outside feel. There's so much space, I can't even explain it. There's a whole tree in the corner. You have a full dining table. The pergola gives such nice shade because it does get a ton of sunlight right here, but there's also a fire pit. There's sun loungers. There's still so much room if you wanted to add other things. And then over here in the corner, there's a secondary area with more chairs. So you could even have like another coffee nook over there. Areas like this, holy cow, this does not feel like apartment living at all. You have more space than some people's backyards and it is so beautiful. I absolutely love just all of the sunlight that comes with this area. For me, the dream is really being able to have some sort of like indoor outdoor living situation. I think it just opens up your space so well and it's so pretty. Coming back inside, you do have a very large living room area. Over here, we have what is technically the first bedroom. This unit is a four bed, two and a half bath. They have this one staged as a den. I would say if you did wanna make this a bedroom, it would have to be a pretty small bedroom, maybe a twin size bed. But as a office slash den space, I really, really like how they've designed it. You have a window so you can still get the natural light in the breeze if you want. It's so high end and it's so gorgeous. Right off the entrance when you first come in is the first half bath. It is beautiful, but let's go ahead and head upstairs to the bedrooms because this primary bedroom I think is possibly the nicest bedroom I've ever seen. So right when you come upstairs, this is where your three main bedrooms are going to be. On either end, you have the two smaller bedrooms, and then this is the primary bedroom. If I can have a dream primary bedroom, I think it'd probably be this, just because it is absolutely gorgeous and flooded with natural light. This is a king size bed. As you can see, there's an absurd amount of space in here. You also have this secondary patio, which I just think is so romantic to be able to have off of your bedroom. Like I imagine my husband and I going and having coffee in there in the morning before entering into the rest of the house filled with kids or whatever, being able to just have like our little oasis. I'm also very into this chair. I think all of the furnishings that they've done to stage this unit are gorgeous. This just looks so comfortable. Yes. It indeed is very comfortable. I just have to make sure that I wouldn't fill it with all of my clean laundry that I haven't folded, but I'm pretty good about that. Coming down the hallway, you also have your walk-in closet, which is huge, and you could fill with so many fun things. And then into this primary bath. This primary bathroom very well might be larger than my first apartment. It is massive. You have a full freestanding soaking tub. 
You have a steam shower, which is very few and far between in Chicago. And I don't know why we don't have more of them because I think they're fantastic. Obviously a dual vanity with an obscene amount of drawer space and storage space, which is so lovely and massive window in the bathroom. So you're able to get really, really beautiful natural light in here. As I mentioned, this unit is for rent. So this is a four bed, two and a half bath. It is 2,675 square feet, currently listed for $17,900 a month. It goes without saying, but if you are at all interested in this unit, please feel free to let me know. I would love to help you. But there is one more unit in this building that I'm really excited to show you. So let's go and check it out. Welcome into the second unit that I'm gonna be showing you today. You'll see it's very similar in the finishes. However, it is a completely different floor plan. This one has a little bit less outdoor space, but another bedroom. So this is a very cool unit as well. This unit is a little different in how they have set up the kitchen. So the wet bar is actually in the corner here and it kind of perfectly flows into the kitchen area as well. I think that it's just so beautiful tying in the two different like finishing packages. I think they look really, really, really good together and it's very cohesive even though they're different. I just imagine cooking the world's largest meal for my loved ones here while having like Gilmore Girls playing up on the TV there. It's my dream. This is so large, I feel like I could somersault across it, but I haven't somersault since I was like 24 and last time I did it really hurt, so I'm not gonna try. But this kitchen is gorgeous. This is an absolute chef's dream. Next into the living room, this living room is huge. I don't know if it's going to capture the same on camera as it does in real life, but this couch is massive. You could fit so many people on this couch. It feels like a really, really nice open space, plenty of space for a giant TV on the wall. And then this is going to be your main outdoor area. So it has these accordion doors, which is one of my favorite things to see in a condo, a giant wall of glass, but then it opens up entirely. I think it looks so beautiful. I was here with my team earlier and we were saying how great of a place would this be when it's raining outside to be able to come and read a book, but really, really nice outdoor space. You also could do so many different things with this. You could do a fire pit or something. I also also personally would love to do an outdoor dining table there. But if you don't want to have a dining area outside, you do have this designated dining area right here. So no problem at all. You have plenty of space for a full dining table. Before we head upstairs, I do have to show you the first of the five bedrooms in this unit. They again have it staged as an office. However, this room is plenty big that you could really use this as a true bedroom. It's also nice that this is tucked away away from the bedroom. So if you did want to use it as an office, it's not on the same level as the rest of them, just like in that last unit. Very gorgeous. Unlike in the other unit where it was only a half bath on the ground floor, this one has a full bathroom. Every time I scroll through, I Let's go upstairs. I know this sounds weird. You know how you step on a staircase and it's really creaky? These stairs are so solid. Like they just, can you hear that? No, you can't, you can't hear anything because they're solid. Those are nice stairs. Hold on, one. Okay, thank you. I was like, I need to know the layout so I can understand it. Right when you come up the stairs, there is this sort of landing area, which is really nice. There are four bedrooms and three baths on this floor. So down the hallway this way, you have one bedroom, one bathroom, second bedroom, second bathroom, and then at the other end of the hallway is the third bedroom. But again, I'm going to show you the primary suite because that is my favorite. Just like in that last unit, you do have a private sitting area. I didn't know that this was a dream of mine until being here and now like, I just wanna drink coffee with my husband on our private balcony off of our bedroom. I think it's so nice and romantic. It's such a pretty little oasis to be able to have. Their primary bedrooms in these units are insane. The natural light is incredible. Look at this closet. I've seen full bedrooms smaller than this closet before. Our bedroom in our first apartment in Chicago was probably smaller than this. This is a huge, very nicely built out closet. And then the primary bathroom, it's basically a mirror image of the last one. It's just so pretty. I love it in here. I could steam shower and just sit with no one to bother me. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. This last unit is listed at $16,909 a month. So again, if you're interested, please let me know. I am a broker with Compass and I would love to be able to help you with all of your real estate needs in the city. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.